Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers, no washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Oh, tur stuff. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come here. Clearly know how to sell it. Not a sales pitch, it's a warning. I'll give you one word. Bespoke. Not for everyone's synopsis. Think you can handle it? Bespoke? Damn, that sounds promising. I get it, I'm in. Mm -hmm. A couple of things you need to know first. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, input. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. My, what a sweet little face you have. Kiss my dead spunk! So, curious, the name Lizzie's, is that the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Now I'm just flat interested. Real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Girls were paid right, insured, even had decent security. Good spot all in all. Let me guess, it didn't last? No, Tiger Claws took care of that. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad ones. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. The gang came back the next day. Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. The big boss now is Susie Q. But the sign stayed up, out of respect. Biz booms to this day. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here? Who's asking? Big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture. Truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite. It's all right, Mateo. Wait for this one. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Sense on? Only tequila I drink. <laughs> How do you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm -hmm. 
I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone asks, we're not here. So, what Nothing's do you wrong. Know? What do you really? Like? Why don't you just tell me the Guy truth? Like you? I just told you. to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. V? You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? No, just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Maybe Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? Let's talk biz. I mean, it's nice, but I didn't come here to get my ego stroked. No. You're here to gain some knowledge. The life-changing kind. Well, now you got me all excited. Your... target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. It's a curious soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arisaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arisaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me... I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Classy Corp hotels? Yeah, no. Out of my price range. Hmm. Well, the decor's to die for. As you'll see for yourself. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? <sighs> v? So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yori Nobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away its secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. 
brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits? Yeah, yeah. Jacking off to in those boxes? No. Would you? It can be like a very useful else? tool. 